Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes. Okay, so President Obama was speaking about Obamacare today. 15 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. It stretched into over an hour talking about. Oh, let's just leave out those four letter words. About. Oh, whose fault was it? Mm -hmm. You can probably guess what, the, what it was. Those Republicans. Anyway. <coughs> Anyway, today was the first day that Obamacare was available, and it is doing remarkable. In fact, over twice the number are signing up for Obamacare than ever supported it. And despite, yes, the website being down, record numbers. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. When I get off a day, it throws the entire time off again. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it actually, according to the people on the left, it's just, you know, that... I love this. The rumors are in Hollywood among the people that hate the military is that the President of the United States should mobilize the military and temporarily take over the government to save this nation from the racist Republicans that want to bring the nation down because they want to make minorities suffer uh, and, 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 and business suffer. Well, the problem is, is that the, here's the trick, folks. Big business is represented by the Democratic Party. Most of the billionaires in this country are Democrats. Most of the millionaires are Democrats. Most of the heads, most of the corporations are headed by Democrats. Most of the large companies are owned by Democrats. The Republicans per, uh, represent the guys that are being killed by Obamacare. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the, and you don't hear that from the press. All you got to do though is watch the stock market. The stock market is up now that, that they're basically, um, you know, they're in the so-called, getting ready to default because the president's going to default. Mm -hmm. Right now, the House of Representatives is passing through. They're going to independently piecemeal that Obama is going to have to, he's going to have to stop veterans effects. He's going to have to stop uh, funding uh, all kinds of health care programs and everything to keep from doing what they're doing. They got individual bills to fund individual parts of the, of the government and the Democrats have to cancel it again. Well, those Republicans, well, okay, mom isn't going to get her dialysis because those damn Republicans, even though the Republicans are funding it right now. And Obama's threatening to take this country down if he does not get his way. We threw a temper tantrum this morning. Every other sentence had to do with those damn Republicans. They're anarchists. They, they want to destroy our nation. They're racist. They're out to get me. You know, he, he's, a, he's a megomaniac is what he is, where he thinks everything is about him. Omega O. Yeah. And Biden, the U.S. could be left behind on infrastructure. Well, no, because nobody in the world can afford it. The chi okay, you know how the Jap Chinese are doing it? They're just not paying people. They just have a, they have a workforce that basically doesn't get paid. They, they call them slave labor, mm -hmm. and they just build. And they don't build a very good job because the country is already polluted. In our country... We can guarantee it. We've been to the to the forums and stuff. It is a minimum of seven trillion dollars to do rebuild our infrastructure by figures that are five years old, which mm -hmm. means it's more than that. The money isn't there. When this stuff was built, everything was cheaper than it is now. And now the Democrats demand that unions get priority on all the jobs, which means whatever was seven trillion dollars before. Under a, Dem under a Republican president, it's two to three times that amount, and it ain't going to happen. And South Korea stages the largest military display for a decade. Because yeah. they know that the President of the United States is going to do nothing to defend anybody. Um, and seventh graders suspended three days for gun and keychain the size of a quarter. I know. Um, what? I know. They said the Democrats are going overboard, that if you, okay, they have stopped uh, Halloween, they have stopped Christmas, they have stopped Thanksgiving. If you bring a comic book into your, okay, all the little kids have comic books. If you bring a comic book in that's got a gun on it, they just suspend you. If you talk about going hunting with your parents this weekend, they suspend you. What? They're, they're going to bring, the, okay, the left is, okay, here's the way it works is, People cannot seem to get it through their heads. They're starting to figure that out on my side of Facebook, that the more liberal the elected officials are, the more conservative their views are on everything because it's all about control. They, yeah, they, they were drawn into it because they thought, oh, they're liberal. We'll get to do whatever we want. Yeah, and what in order to stay in power, because here's the big problem is that 
when you have people about talking about seizing the government temporarily for the good of the nation, mm -hmm. that's people that are basically looking at a government ran by one party and one party only. And Obama never has to step down as long as he's the head of the party. He will continually be the head of the country. So he's mm -hmm. looking at a um, 30. I, I predicted it years ago. This is where he was heading. This is why. This is part of why they canceled the Hillary Clinton thing because Hillary is no longer talking about seriously running. If they go to one party, she'll never get a nomination because oh. the Democrats are okay. Who is more afraid of a black president, the Republicans or the Democrats? <laughs> they chose him over Hillary, and they That's worship true. Hillary and Bill. And they oh. went to him because they're terrified of the black vote. And who is the one group in this country that's suffering the most under Obama? I know. Isn't that the most pathetic part? I know. It, you, you, they thought they would have gotten more out of him. They got nothing out of him. And, of course, everybody else thought they'd get more out of him, He too. threw them totally under the wheels of the bus because there's one simple reason. I happen to be a mixed American, and so is Obama. And the problem is, is that they really do not like mixed Americans in this in this country, and, or do they around the rest of the world? And they don't like them around the rest of the world. So he's got a chip on his shoulder. I know it because I mean, my brother and my sister basically were always pissed off about everything. And my mother, when she'd come to a, come to a set to deliver food from the restaurant because she wanted to see some of the people, she would always be, you, "What do you mean he's a the half breed?" Well, I said, "That's what he is." Well, that's yeah. how they referred to me. Yeah, but you thought we would have advanced more than no, that. No, we haven't advanced any. It's actually it's worse today than it was before. And move over Miss World, a beauty contest for Muslim women. Well, because they're going to treat Muslim women, because Muslim women are so beautiful. This is why they, they have to hide their beauty from the world. I hate to tell people, but the Egyptians, the, none of those women used to be veiled. You know, oh, Nefertiti, really? uh, Cleopatra. No, they were never veil. No, the veil is but, a thing that keep them under control. Women were stronger during the days of Egyptian rule, and uh, and, and then they are under Muslim rule. I don't. I, I mean, I sat there and read the stuff on Muhammad. Muhammad said, "Protect your women and your children." Mm -hmm. That is not veil your women. That he said, "Protect your women and your children." Mm -hmm. And survey finds U.S. Jews losing their religion. Um, not likely. <laughs> not likely. That's a, that's a, that is one of the most asinine surveys ever because uh, basically you, 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 a Jew has a natural built-in guilt complex. And you can't be guilty if you're not a Jew. <laughs> yeah. And U.S. poverty rises despite economic recovery. There is no economic recovery. They said that... This is the whole thing. You know when the thing is put out by the Democrats, they're trying, Republicans are being irresponsible. Um, they're not doing, there is no recovery. There is a, okay, the market goes up when a business is controlled by the President of the United States pump money into the thing. So you're, you're, you're printing money in order to make the economy look stronger. We keep losing jobs. We have the we have the biggest unemployed job force in the history of our nation since they started taking track. The unemployment is over 14% in reality. And U.S. raised immigrants try to return across the border. Oh yeah, because they're, they're basically showing this nation the total contempt that they have for the laws on the books. They're now just walking back and forth across the border and, not, and, uh, and saying that, well, you can't stop us because we're, we're, our parents were here illegally. We were born here legally. We can do anything we want to do now. What? Yeah. Hmm. You can't, okay, they just signed bills in the state in California that basically gives illegal immigrants the right to vote in elections. And they said, how, okay, how do you know that it isn't going to work is because the people that are here illegally don't want people to know they're here illegally so they are not going to come out and force and vote now that they basically give them the right. When they didn't have the right, then they would come and vote because everything is phony. Now they got a real ID where they can be tracked. And Japan leader gambled on sales tax hike. Yeah, the country's going down the toilet and the new guy basically wants to raise taxes. That's when you put left-wingers in. They always want to raise taxes. And two generals forced to retire for Afghan breach. They happen to not approve of Obama, and he, uh, he's replacing. These are U.S. generals. He is replacing all general staff members 
that don't agree with his views, all of them. I know, I'm, I know people in the military, and they said these are two good guys. They do not agree with the president. They're very vocal about the fact that, that which under rules they can do. They can say that the military, you know, they can criticize actions because their job is to protect the troops. And basically, he wants all, one after another. If you don't support, it's just my way or the highway, and he's replacing general staff with people that, he, that supports him. Anguish in court as Detroit residents object to bankruptcy filing. Well, yeah, because the country is flat ass broken. They don't seem to understand it. Uh, you know, they, uh, they're, they basically they figure they may have spent as much as eighteen billion dollars on people on retirement benefits for people that have never worked for the city of Detroit. What? Yeah, that's why it's bankrupt. Oh, that would do it. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, there is always the right time to do something, and then there is the. <laughs>